Apple recently purchased Bedit, a system that monitors and tracks your sleep. Now, it's not unusual for Apple to acquire companies, but Bedit is interesting because it is a hardware product and service, and sleep is an area that Apple doesn't yet have a direct public focus on. So the way Bedit works is by using a $150 sleep monitoring device. You place it under your sheets on your mattress, and when you launch the app, you'll see just how much data this monitor can collect. The Bedit dongle uses ballistocardiography, or BCG, to monitor your heart, lung, and body functions. It's completely non-invasive, but it works by measuring the tiny movements created from your heartbeat, breathing, and tossing and turning at night. As well, BCG can measure the rate of your blood moving throughout your body. That, along with audio recorded through the iOS app, allows you to track very detailed sleep data over time. From a user's perspective, you can track the quality and quantity of your sleep and adjust your habits according to the data you get. My favorite feature with services like this is the smart alarm clock that wakes you up at the best time and sleep phase so you aren't groggy and tired when you wake up. That is the kind of feature a service like this can give you. So what does Apple want with this? It is currently still for sale, so Apple is collecting data of Bedit users. Apple could want the company just for that reason. The data from Bedit is rather detailed, and this could be used to further other health initiatives like HealthKit or CareKit. As well, the data and the technology in the dongle could be used to help further the health focus of the Apple Watch and bring some real sleep tracking, a feature some users have requested. Or it could even be for a completely new standalone tracking device. For now though, it seems Bedit will be kept as its own standalone device and brand, similar to the Beats line, and it is currently available for purchase at Apple stores. So let us know down below, is sleep tracking something that you care about, and what would you like to see Apple do with Bedit? I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to subscribe and visit MacRumors.com for more. I want to thank you all so much for watching, I'm Matt Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.